tumble, Colchester United's Abouesa takes a tumble during his side's 1-1 draw with Carlisle United picture, Steve Brading John McReal has urged Colchester United fans to stay behind his playoff chasing side as they prepare to enter a crucial new month of fixtures, and maintain a growing connection between supporters and his team. The U's have gone through February unbeaten with two wins and two draws and head into March sitting in fifth place, in the League 2 table. Colchester will play six vital games next month and face a number of fellow promotion hopefuls in the likes of Forest Green Rovers, Exeter City and Tranmere Rovers. And Ross McGreal is keen for U's fans to maintain their support for their side, with 12 games of the campaign remaining. He said, it's been a nice February for us after the disappointment of January and we start a new month this week with another tough game, with Swinton away. We have all the tough ones coming up now and we need the fans to stay behind us, that's the big thing. They could easily have left against Carlisle United, we didn't get that goal until the 84th minute but they were still there at the end, clapping us off. I'm sure they'd be appreciative of the hard work and the football that we played. We have that connection with the fans and we want to continue that. We want to keep building on that, it's getting stronger and stronger, year on year, week on week. The only way to do that is to try and implement our style of play, still producing our own players and hopefully trying to win games of football. That's what gets bums on seats, and that's what we're trying to do, McReal admits he fully expected to hear booing had Colchester conceded a second goal in the 1-1 draw with Carlisle United last weekend. The U's trailed to Hallam Hope's strike when boss McReal made changes, bringing on Michael Mandarin, Brennan Dickinson and Luke Norris. The changes resulted in Colchester eventually scoring an equaliser through Frankie Kent's 84th minute header. If we concede a second goal, I'm sure I'm getting booed, there's no question about that, said McReal. I could hear one or two already with the subs I was making but they know where they are and so do I. I know where they are at training and their fitness levels and some of the fans don't realize that. We left ourselves a little bit open, but we felt we needed to, to try and get the point and we tried to go on and win it, after that, McReal was pleased to see all three of his substitutes affect the game in the second half against Carlisle. Dickinson and Mandarin combined well to help set up Kent's equalizer, while Norris also looked sharp. McReal added, Luke Norris is getting fitter and fitter in training. He's been out for a long while. Mika was in good form before he felt his hamstring and his groin. They've come on the pitch and affected it as did Dicko. He came on as a left winger but when Ryan Jackson came off he was a threat from left back. Dicko has trained ever so well and he's probably now looking to get a start and that's what we want, the boys have come off the bench and affected the game.